So one of the big issues when it comes to live streaming with churches is handling copyrighted material. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up OBS so that you don't have to worry about that. Hey guys, this is AJ, CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel, we focus on tips, training strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry so that we can impact the world. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So um, in the last couple of videos I've posted, um, my church and another church I've been working with has been getting some copyright strikes. Now, granted, those strikes have been a bunch of junk, um, being copywritten, um, getting a copyright strike for hymns that were written over 150 years ago that are in public domain. So um, I also talk about in Article 13 that was passed in Europe, how that can possibly affect the affect us in the church and also just being aware of how that stuff is happening. But what I want to do is actually walk you through a setup and I, I highlighted this in a basics video, but I want to do more in depth because I want to change this exactly for my church as well too, on how to set up OBS to stop copywritten music mainly going out. And this could work the same way with video. Um, but this is mainly going to be how to set up OBS so that when your viewers are watching online, they can still see what's going on, but you either mute the audio or you replace the audio with something else so that you can avoid getting a copyright strike. So let's jump over to my computer. I am on my secondary system. And as you can see, I have the black magic link. Um, capture device coming in. So this is what, as you can see, is pulling in audio. If I double click on this, it's coming in at 1080p, 5994, and I'm getting audio on this SDI connection. So this is the same setup that I have at church. So no matter what happens, audio is going to be coming in right now. So what I want to do is switch this. So what I want to do is add a new audio input. I don't know what this one is, but I'm going to just go ahead and select this one. looks like I already had it one. Don't really know what it is, but I'm going to repurpose it and the, or you could have just made one, but I'm going to just go with this. So now let's go to our properties of our audio input. Now what I want to do is select it to the audio line in from our capture card. So as you can see, I am getting the exact same input twice, which is very good. So technically I could mute this, but I'm still capturing audio. And let me start recording this just so I can hear what it actually sounds like. Cause I won't be able to hear this until after the fact. All right, so we're still getting audio. Now, the reason why we're doing this is we want to make a scene with the audio in and out. So if I, let's make another scene so I can just show you this. So let's, I'm going to keep the audio on the, the original capture card up. So let's say we make another scene. And I'm going to have our black magic device use existing and then I want to add an image and I'll say this is be right back because this is going to be exactly what I'm trying to show now let's pick some random picture here all right so normally in this type of setup what I'm doing is say we have pray dan praise dancers that are dancing. They're dancing to a copyrighted track that we don't have rights to. Normally what we would do is, and actually let me do a better image so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So let's say we just use something like this and 
let's make it take up the full screen so again in our scenario say that we have praise dancers that are dancing but we don't want their music to go out so normally in this type of scenario as you can see in the layout you won't be able to see anything but you can see that the audio is still being picked up so the easiest way to do that is just to mute the audio now nothing is going through but say now the content is over we're ready to go back to service we switch back when we go back here the audio is still muted and yeah you could come in here and just click that and come back but then if you go back to the scene you're right back here and out of habit you want to make this simple for your media ministry so this is the reason why we want to do our audio this way so if we go back and we mute this what we can do is now go back to our scene and add this channel input so what we can do just keep the audio all the way down in here which will be the same here but you see our audio is still being captured you see still hear the audio because we have the audio input on our live instead of capturing the audio directly from our capture device we just split it into a different source so now so we keep this muted or all the way down either one will work but now when you go back to the scene it's fine you're not going to hear it so that's one scenario now what i want to do with my church service is do kind of a little bit different <clears throat> but instead of having this i want to have a picture to say so you can still see what's going on but instead we want to have a notice at the bottom so just a little twist on what we're doing so what we're going to do let's make another scene and let's bring in our capture device our black magic now it should be muted because that's what we did originally now we're going to add another image here Call this one video. Be right back. No, I'll just say copyrighted material. All right. So let me go over here to my network drive here, and I'm gonna use this image. So. The issue what I've been having with um, the fact that, yeah, you can kill off all the audio, but then I just want to have it be a little bit more interactive so they can see what's going on. So that's what I did with this image. I just have at the bottom live stream will resume soon. Feed audio temporarily disabled copyrighted material currently being played. So that way people know why did the audio just go out all of a sudden. So let's go ahead and lock that down. We're going to right click and go to our filters and we're going to key out that green. We'll just do a color key. And then boom. So the green is gone. So now, as you can see, no audio is still coming through because we don't have an audio input going on. So if we go back to live, now you can hear what's going on. Then easily switch back like that now you could also add something else to this say that hey I, I want to be able to have some type of audio cue or something like that so I'm gonna do this so that um because I own this song I wrote the song it's copyright to, copywritten to me in the Library of Congress you can look it up if need be so I'm gonna go ahead and play a song here Let me go ahead and download this. And you can do this with any song that you have copyright permissions to. And say in here, 
instead of it being dead silence, let's add a media source so that it's playing some type of music in the background so people will know. So now they have a visual cue as to why they're not hearing anything. And then also they'll have some type of audio instead of there just being silence. All right, so let's go here. Let's add a media source. And I'll just say copy right. BG music. Now I'm going to have this song loop, obviously, because uh, just to cover the entire time. And close the file when it's inactive. So the song is going to keep looping over and over again. But when it's done, uh, when you switch out, it will close the entire file. All right. So this is what's going on right now. And what I'm going to do is just override this. I'm going to change this to a fade. So no matter when I switch to it, it's always going to fade. And let's do this at I want to change it to 12,000 nanoseconds. So when it fades, so it's a lot smoother transition. And I have to do the same thing here. So it's always going to fade when I go to this. All right. So as you can hear, I'm talking perfectly fine and I'm cutting, I'm going to cut over to the recording on this computer. So you can hear me here. And then when I switch over. And then it switches back. So I hope that helps. This is what I actually have set up at my church this Sunday. So when we are doing offering, I will cut over to something. I will cut over to something similar to that, but you can still hear the music going on like the musicians are playing. But when the praise dancers are dancing now, instead of it just being a screen like this, where you can't hear nothing, I can switch over to something like this with music and explanation as to why you can't hear nothing. So I hope that helped guys. Um, this is one thing, like I said, I'm actually set up at my church. So hopefully that it will come off a lot better when we're doing our live stream and it makes it a lot easier for when we have to block copywritten material. That way people can still see what's going on, but they won't hear what's going on and we replaced it with some type of copy protected or no copyrighted music so that we won't get hit for anything. So I hope that helps guys. If you like this type of content, go ahead and hit that like button, consider subscribing, and don't forget to turn on that bell notification. That way you get notified when we come out with other great videos like this to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ and we will see you on the next video later.